Hello, my name is Nia Muder, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Drive to host your class, to share videos, photo, and other files. Go to Google Play Store, and you can download Google Drive. Okay. So it's 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 better if you use the app okay this is the app this google drive and we are going to open the app right now so this is the app i don't want to update it now i don't want to go over to google drive and then i'll show you around this is it so this is google drive okay so you have to sign in with your email address so right there i have a few email addresses here okay this is the one I'm using, my main email address. Okay, so you have to sign in with your email address. So once you sign in, this is how it's going to look like. So you, you will probably see your image here to show that this is the account that is signed in. Okay, then this is the app. All right, so let me show you in a list format. All these are files, they are folders and they are files that are saved on my Google Drive. So normally, Google Drive gives you, um, I think, about 15 um 15 gig free storage space let me check it i it's it's 15 yes it's 15 if you check here you will see it this is it okay you can see it there you can see the storage i've used so far i've used 6.9 gig of 15.0 gig used okay and you can upgrade it if you want you can buy storage up to one terabyte and all that all right so this is google drive this is the app itself now uh, right here in this app you can click on the plus button let's say you want to save a photo from your device to your google drive that is it's an online cloud storage system so you want to save it up here for future purpose or for whatsoever you want to share it you will click on the plus button if the file you want to send is just single file you just click on this button right here but if you want the file to be inside the folder you have to click on the folder okay so let's begin with the folder so when you click on the folder you have to save it so let's save it with um tutorial tutorial drive okay this is the name create now it's created this is arranged in an alphabetical order so i'll go to t to get that folder that i just created okay so after this you see it here mm, all right so this is the folder you can see this is the folder you can see that there's nothing inside the folder so i want to add something inside the folder so i'll have to click on the plus button i can add another folder inside the folder it's called a subfolder or i can decide to upload stuff inside the folder so i want to upload maybe an image or a video or whatsoever i want to upload i can upload it inside the folder so all these are videos i can add videos to the folder i can add pictures to the folder i can even add application documents to the folder so in this case i just want to add one just one um, image into the folder and then um let me just add one image so this is the image i want to add as soon as i click on it you see that it's uploading so uploading means it's coming in so now this image has been added successfully inside this folder so now if i want to share this image i'll i'll just have to click on the link the, the three dot the option and then you see different options share manage hard to start make available offline copy link and all that if i wanted to share this image so that somebody can click and download it anywhere all i needed to do is to click on the copy link and the link will be available now this is the link now this is the link this is the link all right this is the link now, if I share this link anywhere, I share this link on WhatsApp, on Facebook, and somebody click on this link, what will happen is that, what will happen is that the link 
when will not be accepted it will not it will not be as it will not be assessed uh, accessible why the reason is because the person doesn't have access to this particular image why let me show you now this option here share this is where you set how you want people to assess your image so if i click on this share now it's going to load and when it load it will give me this option there's a plus i option here if i click on it it means i want to add somebody okay i want to add somebody so all if i wanted to add somebody so that somebody will have access to this to this picture all i needed to do is to click on okay let me get the person's um person's email address all right so this is the email address i want to share that particular image with okay now you have to decide do you want to the person to be a viewer if the person is a viewer the person will be only able to click on the file access the file we will not be able to do any other thing than just to access the file if it's a video is going to watch the video it will be able to download the video if it's a picture it will be able to view the picture that is what they can do okay as a viewer a commenter they can comment they can add comments to your pro to your video whatsoever you are sharing with them but as an editor this person this privilege as, as an editor they can they the, the editor can delete your file can edit your file can delete and upload another one from their own end so let me show you now i'm adding this person as an editor okay let me add this person as a viewer first okay if i click on this button here you can see this send button if i click on it it will load and a message will be sent to the person's email address now let me go and check the email address and you will see look at the message now nice. you can see the message it, a message will be sent that you are granted access to this person look at it look at the message item shared with you so it would let you know that Nia would have shared on an item with you and you can see the picture that i'll be shared with the person so the person can from his own end either click on this or click on a link now when he click on this link it's going to open the image for the person ordinarily nobody have access to this image if you click on the link from anywhere you saw the link it will not open like this it's going to send a request now when a request is sent you decide to allow it or not this is how a request looks like let me show you not this one let's go over here let me show you how a request look like this is how a request look like you can see share request for visual dash 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 now this is the request message they are asking me now should i share a folder do i want to share this folder this is a folder on inside my drive that somebody somewhere has clicked the link so i decide whether to share this folder with the person or not the person cannot access the folder until i share the folder with the person so i can decide to make the person a viewer or a commenter or an editor i just explained that if the person is a viewer he can only see the folder access the folder know and see everything inside even download them but he will not be able to add to that folder he will not be able to delete the file from the folder he can only download it if i add the person as a commenter he can comment he can add comment to to the fold to the files if i add this person as an editor he'll be able to delete the files it will look as if it's his own property so he'll be able to delete it he'll be able to add and order it so i'm adding this person as a viewer and then i can decide to add a message okay okay you have been granted access and all that i can decide to add the message yeah type your message here yeah, and then click share and as you click share the person will get an email instantly that he has been granted access to this particular folder that he requested access for you get so that is it so let's go back to google drive so this is the file this is the folder we created tutorial drive and we have added one file we can continue to add other file we can add videos we can add whatsoever we want to add okay so let's say you are doing a course you can add you can create let's say let's call this let's rename it let's say this is my course all right let's say it's a course it's online course and let's say this is my course 
and you have changed the name to my course now inside your course you want to let's go back to here um, I have to go and look for M okay this is okay my course is it right here okay now inside this folder let me delete this one inside this folder I want to create other um, models so I can come here and say okay uh, model one okay I can come again I said uh, yeah I can say model two and all that I can create all the content here okay and let me copy this sorry um, okay so I can create all the content here and then this is the course inside this folder I can begin to add my videos I've recorded my videos I can go to my file and then add my videos inside the folder alright so if I've added my videos come here add my videos if I want to add document I can add it even here so once I've added it this is the main folder this right here is the main folder and this is the link to the main folder this subfolder have a special link you can see it this subfolder have a special link but this folder here is the main folder inside this, this link we will have this and you will have this so right here I want to this is a link if you want to grant people access to your course get your email address and then come over here share get your email address come to share and then click and add your email address here after you've added one email address just add a comma so let's say you add me like this okay add a comma like this and then add other email addresses come this add a comma all right so that's what what you'll be doing just add a command and add the other email addresses as much as you can 100 you can add 100 email addresses then make sure you grant them access as viewers unless you want them to be able to delete your files edit your file add other files to your file then you can grant them access as editor you can see organize add and edit files this is it here all right so then also you can also come to this place right here let me go you can if you want the course to be open if you want somebody to click on the link and immediately anywhere in the world click on the link so long they have a google ad, um, google account as soon as they click on the link they should be able to access your file come to this place who has access this place here then click on it and then you will see that this link settings is is restricted you can see only people only people added can open with the link so it's only people you add to this your 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 course that can open the link click and you can change it you can change it to anyone with the link if i put this option it means that anybody that see that link will have access to my course so, but if it's a private course they need to put it right here restrict it you have to restrict it so that people will not have access to it you get that is it so you copy the link and you share with people all right so these are some of the this is this has files in my Google Drive okay so if for example you saw a link somewhere let me show you let me show you one link and I'll show you what I want to do now let's say you saw a link somewhere okay uh, okay this link let's say you saw a link somewhere like there are two links here I think this to this ones will not work okay I've seen one that can work you saw a link somewhere like this link now this one this one premium photo room blah 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 okay what you are going to do is to click on it and then you choose the email address that you want to use to access it and then click open and it will begin to open but this is not what I really wanted this is not what I wanted I want to show I want to show you something else I want to show okay this is this, this is what I want now so these are different links that are here now okay I want to I want to check on this one the distill click on this link click on the email and then open it it's going to open your Google Drive this is the file these are the files inside that link I just click now I'm not the owner of it but the person has left it open for for free access okay 
it's a free uh, a link so it's not selling anything here that's why it's, i can click it click on it anytime i have access to it now if i go to this option here i will see the owner of it ebenezer follow door blah 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 that's the owner that's the person that have it that is the person that's uploaded it to, it to its own drive now if i want to have access to it all the time i can add it as a shortcut to my link just go to this place right here you can see it shortcut short add shortcut to drive click on it go to my drive and then you add it just click add it means that this folder has been added to my drive so i can go to my drive now anytime and i'll go to i'll just look for the name this is the name you can see that it's already added to my drive i just go there and i'll access it you get that is very very fine so if you want to share anything with your friend just upload it like all these ones here all these ones they are fire that you uploaded certificate and all that so this this is an image it's one of my designs and i want to share this image with people all i have to do is click on the the option and then copy i'll copy it and i'll go to whatsapp or anywhere i want to share it i'll go to whatsapp or anywhere i want to share it and i will share it with them i will share it with them and they'll be able to access it so i want to share it here and then i'll just paste the link there and then i'll i'll send it anybody that click on that link immediately will come and see this file open to them and they'll be able to click here and then download it okay they'll be able to download it they, will, they can't rename it because they don't have access to rename they can download it and they can add it to their own files so this is the simple way that you can use google drive you can see that you can use to create your courses this is my own course right here you see why i arrange them this is how you can arrange your course inside your google drive and all i have to do is to share the link with my student and then they'll send me a request if they are uh, my student and they have paid for the course and I will grant them access and then you are good to go So this is how the simple way you can use Google Drive to share files with people and uh, I believe you got value in this video, please Like it to support and drop a comment for me in the comment section. I would like to read your comments and I'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe.